Well, welcome back. The Federal Reserve's decision to leave interest rates unchanged earlier this month has some investors speculating that a, a hike will come next month. Speaking at a lunch yesterday, Boston Federal Reserve President Eric Rosengren suggesting that there could be as many as three more rate hikes this year. Joining us right now is Francis Insights CEO, Francis Newton Stacy. Francis, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks. You, you say the Fed could sabotage President Trump's uh, economic plans. Yeah, absolutely. So Trump is touting the market, the rise in the market, and he's touting that he's going to cut taxes, and he's touting that he's going to grow jobs, and he's touting GDP numbers. And simultaneous to that, the Fed is reducing the aggregate money supply. So basically, you're thinking of taking something from a dollar per person in circulation to perhaps 60 cents per person. Three rate hikes um, in addition to the one that was in December, that's very aggressive. Reconciling the balance sheet, that's removing money from circulation. And then also now that there, there is talk of keeping Dodd-Frank, the reserve requirements high, those are three things that are reducing the money supply. And I think that they perhaps are going to blame Trump for this, actually. But, but do you think that they're going to be able to raise rates, I mean, three times? When you consider the fact that we just got a GDP number the other day, it was up seven-tenths of a percent, the economy's really not growing all that strongly. So will the Fed really raise rates while we're just gaining traction in this recovery? Well, they said that they were data dependent, but they, according to multiple reports, they're undeterred by the GDP number. So, and the thing is, is that what most people don't understand about the business cycle is when you lend money, public and private money, you grow the money supply. And so there's literally more money per person out there. And then when, when people start to get into prosperity and they start repaying those loans, it literally removes the money from the money supply. And so that's what creates the rollover in the business cycle. It's going to happen. It's in the banking algorithm. However, the Fed will precipitate it and accelerate it in order to control it. You know, one of the things that people have focused on, of course, is the interest rates. But a very big part of this equation is the gigantic swollen Fed balance sheet of four trillion or whatever it is. Four and a half. How yeah. important do you think the steepness of this reduction is? And do you think there's going to be a balance sheet reduction in this year? I think there will be a balance sheet reduction. And I think what's interesting is that the stimulus programs that Trump is putting in as far as trying to do infrastructure spending, you know, repatriating money from overseas, let's say he could put a trillion in infrastructure and very confidently, you know, a trillion, you know, or very optimistically, a trillion from overseas repatriation. If the Fed reduces its balance sheet by two and a half trillion, you're still at a negative number there. So by, and that's the number that they're calling to reduce the balance well, sheet. So bigger picture though, could, could you see, regardless of what the Fed does with short term interest rates, could you see longer term interest rates heading higher and moving up, mortgage rates moving up because of the Fed unwinding some of that balance sheet at the same time? And then you're left with potentially what does the Trump administration do? What does the Congress do? So you could have higher interest rates and then no fiscal stimulus. Right. That would I, be a crisis. Right. <laughs> that would be a market crash. Well, the thing is, is when, so I predicted the first crash in 2008 and traded it. And the thing that I noticed was that it was a replication of the Great Depression cycle because of the size of the bubble. And those, that algorithm that is our lending algorithm guarantees that we have a W. And I've been waiting for the top of the V. And what you know, comes at the top of the V is a reduction in the money supply. And that's what precipitates that W. Right. It has to come. It's just accelerated in order for banks and the Fed to control it. And they're going to blame Trump. And it was in the works many, many years ago. Two personnel questions. Do you think Janet Yellen is going to make it for her whole term? And what is Trump going to do about this regulatory supervision? There's an opening at the Fed. What's going to happen with sort of the, the players in the in the? In well, the it's Trump, right? So I'm hesitant to speculate because uh, at first he was saying he didn't like Janet Yellen. And then recently he said, no, 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 he might, he might keep her. So You're I, saying he may not just fire her like like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, well, you know wouldn't up, I love right. to be able to read his mind, right? Her term's up in January, but so he doesn't have to wait long. I do see, and, it, and the, the scientific reason is that in technical analysis, markets have a cellular memory because they're living entities. I do see that if we're on track for rate hikes, and if we're on track for reconciliation of the balance sheet, and we're on track for keeping the reserve requirements very high with the Dodd-Frank, we don't know exactly what Trump's going to do with the banking regulation, I think we have a major sell-off in October. Major sell-off in October. Yeah. Uh, and, and does that include your expectations on tax reform and what we'll, we'll know about tax reform at that point? It does because just the reconciliation of the balance sheet will turn that stimulus into a negative number because that's a $2.5 and optimistically $2 trillion on the stimulus side. 
and then in addition to that raising the rates and depending on what they're going to do with the reserve requirements it just takes what's in circulation and reallocates it into the bank reserves um, mm -hmm. you know in anticipation of this actually so all right we'll have to watch that Francis thanks very much well thank you Francis.